All right, it's uh, it's Sunday, and I think our fog is rolled back into town. It's rained pretty much all day, not uh, not real hard, but it's rained all day, and uh, a good day to work in the shop. So I spent the spent the time this morning to uh, clean up and rearrange some of my stuff. And, Got the Alice Chalmers B engine and the Alice Chalmers B turned a little bit here. Got things cleaned up. The uh, 820 still in here. But uh, I was asked by a fella. And uh, I've watched this, this guy for a long time. Uh, probably he's one of the oldest youtubers i know that's been making videos for the longest amount of time uh i don't know if he and one lonely farmer started about the same time i don't know i i started watching them both about the same time and it's been um uh, probably going on seven or eight years ago so anyhow the fellow's name is r peak and he uh he doesn't do anything specific, but he builds rat rods and uh, builds little buildings. And uh, he bought a place in Georgia. Uh, he reconditioned his house in Maine and, and all kinds of things. I mean, just little things, nothing. For a while, his videos weren't more than a couple minutes long. But uh, good for a laugh and just see how he was doing and what he was doing. It was was interesting, so... Anyhow, he was trying to drill some, uh, trying to drill studs out of some wheels that the nuts had rounded off on a Jeep Cherokee. And, uh, somebody had commented, well, just drill the stud out of the middle of the nut, because the nuts were rounded off the outside, and they were down, down in the, in the rim quite a ways. And I says, yeah, that'd be that'd be the thing to do is just drill the studs out of the nuts, and the nuts will fall off. And and uh, he showed video of him drilling and drilling and trying to find a sharp drill bit. And I says, well, if I was in Maine, I says I'd come up there and show you how to sharpen a drill bit. So uh, he says, well, <laughs> you could make a video of that. Well, I could make a video of that. So. I got my little Harbor Freight bench grinder out. And it, it usually doesn't sit here. It usually sits over in the corner. But anyhow, I uh, I was taught to sharpen a drill. Well, a long time ago, I watched an old fabricator fellow that fixed all our equipment. You know, he could weld and grind and do just about anything with metal that you wanted I'd watch him sharpen drill bits and uh, I kind of took to that because I hated I hated pushing and pushing and broken drill bits and you just couldn't you know as a kid I hated dull drill bits and then when I went to ag mechanics class in high school, the uh, teacher, that was one of the skills required, was to be able to sharpen a drill bit. So I knew kind of how to sharpen a drill bit, but he taught us the right way. And uh, boy, you didn't get a grade if you didn't do it right. So anyhow... I've got this drill bit, I don't know, it's about 5 eighths or so, and it's a little dull, got a big chip out of it there, so we're going to try this here, we'll get the, and the way he taught us to do it, and you should never take the guards off your grinder, but I do it anyhow, do as I say and not as I do. See if I'm in focus here. But you take this 
this flat edge at the cutting edge and you want to keep it parallel to the grinding shaft and you just touch it and roll it up and you want to do it till you got a nice clean edge here see how clean that edge is this other end has got a big chip on it Now, the other thing is you want to make sure this is just two nuts tied together with a string. You want to make sure that this angle is 60 degrees, and that's what that is there, 60 degrees. And the object is to keep that point in the center, otherwise you'll make holes bigger diameter than this drill bit because it'll be drilling off center. The other thing is, is you want this tip, this edge here, to be higher than the back edge here. Otherwise, the drill will just go around and it won't cut. And this is your cutting edge right here. And the other thing is, is this point here, you want that as narrow as possible. And the way you do that, let me grind this a little bit more. On smaller drill bits, that's not a problem. Getting that tapered back and keeping this, keeping that point small. But then if you got a big bit like this and you want to put a little So it, the back of it tapers off this way, and you got a real shallow cutting edge there. And that gives you a finer point right here on the tip. I know you can't really see that. But there's a two angle grind there. Right like that. You can see right, right up along here. And I'm not a big fan of these drill doctors. Everybody says, well, yeah, just buy a drill doctor, but you get a drill bit like that, you can grind on it with a drill doctor for, for hours. And this is free. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'll take it. Here's one with a here's one with a dual uh, 
double angle grind. It's ground flat there and then tapered way off. That's a factory cut one. But, uh, yeah, I had a funny story. <laughs> I come home from work when I was a kid, uh, probably 20 years ago. My dad had gone to the hardware store. He was building a trailer in the shop. And he, uh, he said, uh, I got all these drill bits here. He says, he says, how about sharpen them before you go in the house? Here he went to the hardware store and bought a half a dozen drill bits. They were all dull. He had, he had dulled them all and needed them all sharpened. So I had to sharpen him a bunch of drill bits. He was drilling some hard steel. But I had to sharpen his drill bits so he can continue on his trailer project. And, uh, anyhow. There you can see the double angle on that one. But as long as this this cutting edge is nice and sharp and straight, that'll uh, that'll cut. So. Anyhow, that's my uh, drill bit sharpening demonstration. I'm not saying it's the right way, it's the way I was taught to do it, and uh, it's worked for me for many, many years, and I hope this, I hope that helps you out, Richard, uh, and I hope, uh, hope you get your Jeep fixed up, get the wheels back on it. And uh, have a happy new year. Thanks for watching. That's the way I like it. It didn't bite, it didn't grab, and it didn't use any oil on it. Thanks for watching.